Hi, my name's Tom Ingram. I'm a 19-year-old racing driver from High Wycombe. I'm racing in a Genetta G55 this season with JHR Developments, going into my second season and fingers crossed we're going to be going for, a, uh, for our third championship title. So racing has always been kind of a, a passion of mine from an early age. Um, my dad used to race motocross and things like that, nothing, nothing sort of serious or, or anything uh, high, high profile. Um, so dad would sort of race motocross, quads, things like that. And I'd have been in sort of four or five at the time and he had a few injuries and was getting a bit useless to say the least, just falling off, breaking bones, um, broke his pelvis and, and the doctor said, look, you've got to go over and do something safer. So he went across to do karting, and again, I was about five at the time and would be following dad around, just watching him go around. And um, you know, when you do that sort of age, your kart's in the garage, I'm pretending to drive it as you do, making all the noises. Um, and then fortunately one, one year, um, Santa Claus bought, bought, me the, uh, bought me a kart and it's been, it's been going ever since there really. So yeah, I've been, been going for about 14, 15 years now. So um, as any sort of young guy, it's been going for a very long time and it really does um, take over your life and it becomes, a, it becomes very much a business as opposed to a hobby. I think, as I say, because motorsport is such a passion, it is such a passion of mine. Um, you know, I'd love to be to be in it, whatever I'm doing. Um, you know, whether it be as a mechanic um, or a spectator, or a photographer, or anything like that. I just, you know, I love the buzz of a race meeting. I love cars. I love fast cars. I love the smell of petrol and all the stuff that's orientated with it. So, something in motorsport, without a shadow of a doubt, I'd be there doing, getting my hands dirty or, or getting stuck in somehow. Um, it's, it's a fair amount. It's a lot of people um, seem to be sat in the seat, turning a steering wheel, pressing some pedals, and it's so far beyond that you'll never believe it's. Um, some of the cars you drive are really physical. Some of them aren't so much. But you train yourself to be the fittest you possibly can. Um, whether that be for racing in Dubai when it can be 38, 39, 40 degrees or something, to when it can be a, a rainy snitzed at about two degrees. They're completely different variables. When you've got the heat, you've got the humidity, you've got the sweat, you've got you know all the action going in the car. But when it's cold and wet, you've then got to have wet weather driving. And it's adapting not only your brain, but also your, your, yourself to coping with those conditions. Um, and it's a massive thing that people don't realize. There's so much more that goes into it. Simple things, vision. Vision's a massive thing. Um, so working on vision, where you look in, where, you, you know, where your peripheral eye vision is, is another massive thing and there's so much that goes into it to understand how to get the most out of yourself because we can all drive quickly but it's getting the last half a tenth out of it which could be the difference between first and second.